What's going on, YouTube? My name's Legendary Lee, and today I don't need a funny intro because today we have PSA returns. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. It has been 14 months and 11 days since I first sent off my first batch of Pokemon cards to PSA. Inside this box is the 10 cards I sent off. I have my predictions over here. I also have Ludkin's predictions is what they thought that we're going to get on these cards. We're going in and get it into them. I've been waiting way too long for these. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I, my first batch off, I sent 10 cards. So I sent 11, but I decided not to send one of them when they gave me the um, their uh, estimated get grades, their the pre grades, I guess they could they call them. So there should be 10 cards in here. I have my predictions and I have their predictions, and we'll see who's closer. So let's uh, let's see what happens, I guess. So let me pull this over here to the side. Try my hardest not to. Spool anything? What's going on? Why isn't this coming out? How does this come out? Okay, there it is. Okay. All right. Okay. I see them. There they are. Whoo, man! <laughs> so ready. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh! Let's go. There they are, guys. Here they are. And they're... Okay, so here's the one... Okay, so yeah, so here's the one I decided not to send. It was a... Uh, it was a Charizard, I believe. It was this one. They told me it was going to get a 6. Um, so I'm like, eh, whatever. So I'm not going to send it. And looking upon it now... Yeah, I think that was the right decision. There's some bins at the top I didn't realize was there. Alright, so there's that. But the rest of them... Oh my gosh, look at those things. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, we're gonna set them right here. Pull the car down, pull it up, see what we got. All right, first one up. 2013 Lugia Black and White Plasma Storm. For this one. Okay, this is one of the few that we thought they were gonna be the same. So for this card, I predicted a PSA 9. Lutkins predicted a PSA 9. Here we go. Oh my god, what? A 7? You look at this. That is, no, this is not a 7. Are you kidding? What in the world? No, that's absurd. Absolutely not. I am already disagree. When me and this other company thought this was a 9? Yeah, no. Well, this is probably not going to go well then. If that's, if that's how we're going to start off. Because that was one of the stronger cards that I sent. And it got a 7. So, cool. Cool. Alright, let's get to the next one. Whatever. Alright, this is another one we both thought was going to get a 9. Luckins thought it was going to get a 9. I also thought it was going to get a 9. Let's look at the back real quick. I mean, it's a little off-centered. <sighs> I don't know. Who even knows anymore? Alright, here we go. <laughs> and 8. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those were two of the better cards I sent. And we got an 8 and a 7. What an absolute joke. I mean, centering on this one isn't the best. But, I mean, I don't remember that being there. There's a little tiny nick in the top. I don't remember that being there. Interesting. So we have an 8 pile and a 7 pile. We are off to an, an outstanding start. These are some of the best cards that like, I had, condition-wise. That's why I sent them in that first batch. But um, Yeah, here we go. Next one up. Uh, this is a Rockets Moltres. Let's see what we thought with this one. So I thought this was going to be a PSA 10. They, Ludkins, thought it was going to be a PSA 5. Because they said there's a bend on the card somewhere. And 
Yep, I am actually seeing it now. Of course. What is that? It looks like a Y. I don't know if you can see it right there. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. So, the rest of this card... Oh my gosh, what in the world? What is that? This card was... I sent this card and it was... That was not there. Are you kidding me? Let's just flip it around. The inconsistency. This is an... I agree that this could have been a five. Because... There's a... You could see... I don't, you can't see it on screen. You can kind of see... See that right there? That is a clear indention on the card. Right? Automatically brings it to a six. When I sent it, this little bend right here in the bottom was not there. But it's a PSA 9. I mean... Cool, I guess. But that's so inconsistent. That's... Whatever. I'm getting... I'm getting mad. But... It's just because of the inconsistency. If they were, if I was getting grades that these cards deserve, that, then I understand. But that's not... Oh, eh, whatever. It is what it is. Next one. We got a Dark Charizard. Dark Charizard I thought was going to get a 9. Ludkins thought it was going to get a 6. Um, Centering is not the best on it. Let's take a look at the back. Yeah, there's a little like flip up right here. A little whiting on the edge. White there, right white there. If I had to redo my guess on this, I'd probably say seven. Let's see. Six. So they were right on that one. They were right. The thing is, it doesn't look much worse than the Moltres. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense, but whatever. Uh, okay, so we've got a nine, an eight, a seven, and a six. What a spread. What a spread, right? What a spread. All right, next card up, Misty's Gyarados. I said a nine on this one. They said an eight on this one. And I love that there's like either a crack or something right there. Love that. Um, okay, let's take a look at the back here. The back looks pretty good. There's one little nick right here. So it could be a nine or an eight. Let's take a look at it real quick here. Ooh, let's go. All right, I was glad I was right on that one. A nine for the Misty's. Gyarados. I'll take that all day, considering what we've gotten so far. My gosh. Alright. Next one up. We've got... I think we're halfway through now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're halfway through. Alright, we got a Nidoking. Right here from base set two. Look at that shine. We've got a little swirl right here by the horn. Nidoking. Let's see. I said a nine. They said an eight. Let's see if I was right on this one as well. Let's take a look at the back real quick. The back is pretty much flawless on this one tiniest of whitening right there so i do think that this one's gonna end up with a nine. Ooh. okay all right we're getting more consistent at least i mean my gosh the the start of this was absolutely ridiculous but um all right so we got two nines two eights seven and a six but okay here we go next one up rockets Zapdos, look at that beautiful hollow foil in there. Rocket Zapdos, let's see. For this one, we both said eight for this one, so you know you would think that this one's probably gonna be an eight. Let's take a look at the back here. Yeah, we got a couple couple white specks down here in the bottom, one up here, and one on the top right. Alright, here we go. So I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be an eight since we both thought it was an eight. Let's okay. Why? Why is what I want? What I want to know is why. I'm gonna. I'm sorry, you can't see it when I pull it up here, but there are no indentions. The hollow has literally zero scratches. I'm not exaggerating on that. Let me look at the back. Make sure there's no indentations, which doesn't matter apparently because there are indentations for. This is so aggravating because this is not a six. This is definitely a PSA 8. Alright, going into the 6th pile. <clears throat> I don't even want to know the rest, like the stuff that I've sent out. I don't even want to know anymore. Because I have about two, I have like 190 cards still at PSA. And if this is what I'm getting now, there's no, uh, there's absolutely no telling what I'm going to get back later. Um, okay, this is the biggest one. This is the big boy I sent off. This is the one I was hoping for a 9, but based off of these grades, there's not a chance it's getting a 9. Because um, it was one of the weaker ones. 
two little specs right here. Um, the rest is pretty good. Centering's pretty good. Let me flip it around here. The hollow does not have any kind of scratching that is really visible just glancing at it within like flickering through the light. Oh, what is that right there? Oh. The tiniest of indentations that I see that I don't remember when I sent this card, but that's probably going to pull it to a six. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if we were going to get a nine on any card, this is the card. It's so inconsistent. I can clearly see an indent on the... Can you see that right there? You see that right there. See that? That's like a tiniest of indentations. From what I know about PSA, an indentation means a six automatically. Oh my gosh. I forgot to tell you what the grades were. I thought this was going to be a nine. Got that one right. They thought it was going to be an eight. Oh my gosh. If we were going to get any kind of nine, I knew this one didn't have a chance at a ten. This is the one I wanted to be the nine. Oh my gosh. Wow. What an absolute... I guess just got lucky on that one because this grading is so... Just inconsistent. It doesn't make any sense. Alright. Two cards left. Um, I'm not even sure which ones are left at this point. I think Scyther is one of them that's left. Okay, here's a ditto from Fossil. This one I pulled from a, um, a Mystery Power Box, actually. So, for the ditto... Did I even say what I thought about the Zapdos? Four. Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright, here we go. So, here we go with the, the Fossil Hollow ditto, ditto from Fossil. It's got some print lines on it, for sure. I thought the ditto was going to be a 10, and they thought it was going to be an 8. Looking at the back, it absolutely is not going to get a 10. So let's just flip it around. Yeah, I don't remember that print line being there, but there's definitely one. I must have missed that before, so probably going to be a 9 if I had to guess. Yeah, 9. That's, see, that's fair. That I agree with. I'll take it. Okay, our 9 pile is starting to stack up, so if we can get one more 9, half of our submission will be a 9, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I only thought I was going to get two 10s from this submission, so we're doing good. And these are all old cards I've had for a long time. Um, Alright, last one. Rockets, Scyther. On this one, uh, I thought it was a 9. Lycans thought it was an 8. Hollow, no scratching. Not seeing any kind of indentations, which it doesn't matter. Apparently, they don't really grade that right. Um, the back is actually pretty flawless, so I think my nine is actually going to be correct. And let's take a look here, and it's a nine. Let's go. Okay, strong, strong finish there. Five nines, two eights, a seven, two sixes. This, the two sixes blow my mind. This being a seven blows my mind. I think this deserves an eight, maybe a nine. The only thing I can think is the centering is actually really bad on it on the front when you take a look. But honestly, the best thing of the return is got to be the Call of Legends Lugia in a PSA 9. What? What a, a roller coaster of emotions, guys. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It, it was up and down for me. <laughs> it's so stressful because it's been, like I said, over 14 months since I sent this stuff off. Uh, I do have more coming. I should have more PSA returns uh, in the next two weeks. So they're on the way back to um, ZNG Emporium or US Graded Gym. So I'll have more very soon. So these are, things are starting to pour in. We're going to have a lot more PSA returns. And if you like that uh, kind of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. If you liked the video and you love seeing me in pain while we were doing this, uh, leave a like rating down below. Some of these cards will be up for auction soon. Uh, in the eBay link will be in the description below. Only some of them, because I don't, I know I plan to keep some, but I'm definitely gonna sell some as well. But so if you have any interest in these cards, you can click the eBay links down below to my eBay store. And that's gonna wrap it up. Like I said, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Uh, until next time, stay legendary.